Rob, what is our second main topic today? Well, this comes from KitKat, which is unfortunate because now I want a KitKat. <laughs> hey, John, uh, updates on my favorite director right now. Christopher Nolan is set to direct a film about J. Robert Oppenheimer's role in the development of the atom bomb during World War II. Cillian Murphy might be involved. Several major studios are already in talks to acquire the film. This is fantastic. I'm happy he's moving away from Warner Brothers. I'm so pumped for this. What are your thoughts? Well, John, I have to say I'm I'm a fan of, of Christopher Nolan. And when he delved into the historical uh, look at Dunkirk, which is a, so a, a good. very so good, very British story from World War II that not many Americans might have known about. Uh, I loved it. And so the idea of this period in time, the delving into Oppenheimer and the Manhattan Project and showing how the the atomic bomb was was developed. I mean, there was another movie uh, about the first computer, you know, that Benedict Cumberbatch starred in. Yes. That um, he got nominated for an Academy Award for that, too, I believe. I mean, there's just something. I, first of all, I love World War Two stories, but this is and stories about scientists that are trying to to create something. I mean, this is something that really, really excites me. Uh, Variety comes to us and says, Christopher Nolan has had discussions with several major studios about his next film revolving around J. Robert Oppenheimer and his involvement developing the atomic bomb. While Nolan's last few films were all at Warner Brothers, the director was not pleased when Warner Media made the decision to put its entire 21, 2021 slate on HBO Max. Nolan made it clear he was interested in some degree of theatrical exclusivity on his films. Bitters assumed that a deal for the Oppenheimer project would also carry that requirement. By the way, John, can I make a prediction? Oh, yes. I think Warner Brothers is going to make this movie. Well, here's the thing. I think they're going to fall on their sword. Their Warner Brothers is in the bidding. I mean, that's the interesting thing about this. Uh, Apparently, the talks that uh, Christopher Nolan's agents have been having with uh, all the studios around town, uh, that's included Warner Brothers. I, but now Warner Brothers, here's look, what I believe the status right now with Warner Brothers is this, is look, if Warner Brothers comes to Christopher Nolan on bended knee and says, look, we will put ironclad in the contract, we will put in ironclad language, we will stand at the crossroads, call upon the crossroads demon and make, make a blood pact that regardless of whatever happens, this movie will come out theaters exclusive only, blah, blah, blah. They've got a chance. I, I think they've got a chance. Business is business. He may hate their guts right now, but business is business. What's really interesting to me here, Rob, is this, because you and I talked about this a few months ago. You know what other one of the other studios involved in the discussions are? Netflix. Yeah, I know. Well, And because Netflix, apparently, from what I'm hearing, is willing to sign an agreement with Christopher Nolan to say, we will give this movie a theatrical exclusive run, and then we'll have it live on Netflix after its theatrical exclusive run. That is not how Netflix does things, but it looks like to get into business with Christopher Nolan, they're willing to maybe make an exception. As far as the sounds of this movie in general, I think this sounds amazing. I really do. I, I like. I am so intrigued because, especially Rob, when you look at Oppenheimer, because not only are you talking about a guy who helped develop the atomic bomb, but the story of the guy's life and then how the, how the way that weighed on him after the fact and what it did to him after the fact and how he felt about his role in the creation of the atomic bomb after the fact. You put that into the hands of a storyteller like Christopher Nolan, if Dunkirk is any indication because Dunkirk was a freaking masterpiece as far as I'm concerned. That movie was wonderful. Not everybody lost their minds for it. I think it was nominated for best picture at the Academy Awards. Actually, I'm fairly certain it was, but I thought that movie was brilliant. If he can give that same kind of flavor to this, I think it'd be wonderful. And it would be really now I Rob, I'm going to disagree with you. I don't actually think Warner brothers will end up being the winning studio in this, but it's possible it's possible. It, it, it paints a really interesting picture and it creates a lot of interesting storylines if it does. So I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm going to guess, you know what? I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess Sony. I'm going to guess, I'm, I'm going to make a prediction right now that this movie, this World War II movie Christopher Nolan's doing is going to end up at Sony. And if not Sony, maybe Warner Brothers because they're going to be under new ownership by the time this movie goes into production. And if not, um, 
I don't know. I don't know from there. Netflix may have a chance, though. Netflix may have a chance. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. What do you think about the sounds of this next Christopher Nolan film? I think it sounds incredible. But maybe the more interesting story is where does it actually end up being made? Does he go back to Warner Brothers? Hard to imagine, but it's possible. Is it Netflix? Would have been thought crazy six months ago. Not so crazy now. Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.